It's been two years. What are your thoughts? When the war started, I couldn't imagine it will last so long. And it's really sad we can see the end. So, and also the people who left uh, are in harsh situations. Many families like divided. And Anna Statsenko is one of them. Her mother and father left Kiev after the war began because her epileptic brother could not get his medication. They are now in Germany. Anna is living in Blue Ash with her two children, unable to return because of visa issues and unable to bear hearing about the war back home. Every day you hear from someone, someone injured, someone died, and you see on news all the time how many people suffer and how many buildings are destroyed. Eugenia Nemroska de Santos is keenly aware of these things as well. She has been collecting humanitarian aid and military surplus and sending them home for the past two years. She's concerned about interest and financial support drying up. There is no aid that is used to be coming very frequently and very strongly from Europe and United States. Now it doesn't. Even the мероприятия, которые like at the city hall. This was Eugenia on February 28th, 2022, just four days after Russia invaded Ukraine. She was organizing the area's first rally to raise awareness about the invasion, and she was organizing a supply drive. Two years later, she shudders when she talks about how interest has waned. I, I got a couple of uh, weeks ago a question like, oh, is the war still going? Is your mother still in Kherson? Yes, they are both in Kherson. Back in Blue Ash, Anna speaks via video call with one of her friends in Kiev. Yaroslava has a one-year-old like Anna, but unlike Anna, air raid sirens are a constant reminder of the war. I don't go to the shelter. Uh, Aren't you afraid that you might get hit? Yes, a little bit. From breaking news to feel-good stories, Local 12 has it all. Tap subscribe and hit the links to find out more.